guys, welcome to another Research Monday and this is gonna be my last Research Monday update for this year because we are ending our first quarter this week. I hope you are excited to take your Christmas break because I am. And next week, by the way, is our in-service training for teachers. So many of you may not be able to answer most of your questions by the coming week. So let's finish this week with your research requirements and also for you to have your early Christmas break. So isn't that exciting? So before that, let us discuss further the things that you need to submit for you to finish this quarter strong, okay? So for 12, STEM 1201 to STEM 1210, these are the things that you need to consider. Okay, first, are you able to submit your activities for module 1 and module 2 because if you remember in my previous blog or previous video lesson I mentioned that you are not required to answer activities from module 3 onwards okay so are you able to submit your quizzes in modules 1 to 8 okay for STEM 1201 to STEM 1206 your submission will be on our Google Classroom and if you are from STEM 1207 to 1210, your submission will be through the email of Dr. Hilapo. Okay, next, are you able to submit your summative tests? Again, there are summative tests in Module 1 to Module 8. So answer it individually and submit it in the proper submission, um, proper submission link. Next, are you able to watch the and comment? To all the video lessons posted okay this is necessary because we might create some google form quizzes that you need to take individually so better yet watch those lessons and then are you able to secure your research topic okay guys this is the end of the semester so please have your research topic finalized and were you able to proceed with your research paper are you able to start a draft with your chapter one of your performance task okay so let's finish this quarter with your chapter one of your performance task that is a requirement for all of you because that is the content of your module one to eight so as much as possible you are able to to make your own chapter one already so what are the contents of your chapter one you can view it in module one and here the here it is introduction background of the study, theoretical framework, conceptual framework, statement of the problem, hypothesis, scope and limitation, significance of the study, and definition of term. This is very easy now if you already have your research topics, you are decided with your variables, you are able to conceptualize your parameters. This will narrow down your um, choices when it comes to looking for literature and in creating your own frameworks. So ma'am, how do we make your theoretical and conceptual framework? I'm gonna make another video for that so that you can um, have a guide, a supplemental guide on how to make one, how to make it easier for you as well. But for now, just consider doing the things individually, your quizzes, your summative tests, and finalize your research topics. That is my tip for you, do it as soon as you can as you as soon as you're able and finish it as soon as possible i hope this day you're able to have your research topic already and so that the following days you will just um, work on your um chapter one okay if you have further questions you can send me a message on my facebook page the learning mama stem 1207 to 1210 you are very much welcome i do appreciate some of the students sending me questions yes i easily respond to your questions and if you have further questions i would just point you to dr hilapo but but for the easier questions like the groupings the topics and all i would be very glad to answer all of those okay so if you still have time today please 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 um answer read and answer your module so that's it class i just intend to make this video short and very quick to give you a clear direction on what to do next for your research subject i know this has been a top quarter for all of us for all of you for us teachers as well 
but I do hope that we finish this quarter strong so that we will all have a very happy Christmas break. I hope that you are able to read your modules individually so that when you come together as a group, you will be able to come up with a good research output. So we won't require you to have a quarterly exams. We don't have a quarterly assessment, but we will have... Um, uh, we will grade your quarterly assessment according to your chapter 1 output. So that's it. Please submit your research chapter 1 before Christmas. Okay? So I'm going to upload another video on Wednesday for the creation of your statement of the problem. Um, theoretical conceptual framework, definition of terms, as well as your hypothesis. I've received questions from you. I've received messages from you asking me for samples. I'm going to give you some samples and supplementary materials for these coming days. But for now, please answer your modules and read them, chapters 1 to 8. Okay, guys? I'll see you on my next video upload. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. And click on the notification bell so that you will be notified once I upload another video lesson. And don't forget to comment. You know the drill, guys. Bye!